Hi guys! Today is the day I'm going to get my head finally shaved because I don't even touch it. I don't even like wash it in the shower right now because I know that the majority of it is going to fall out and I just don't, don't want to see that. I don't want to deal with that. So I'm in control and I am going to go and get my head shaved and finally deal with this. So um, the thoughts yesterday were that I had a bit of a cry. I had a bit of a depressing day, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, I wasn't very happy. <clears throat> but I mean, I knew I was going to go through this and I didn't realise it was going to happen so fast. I think that's what kind of like shook me. And my friend was there like, well, it's making it more real now, like, like you losing your hair. So um, I am on my first round of chemo right now and my hair started to fall out on week two. Um, it was coming out in little bits and then it was coming out in clumps and now like I'm waking up um, after sleeping and then there's hair all over the pillow and there's hair all over like your shoulders and over your t-shirt and everything and I'm just sick of seeing all of the hair if I'm honest so I just want to go and deal with that and I think there's going to be more of an emphasis on makeup with me if I've lost my hair then I just want to highlight my face so I've started wearing like a lot more eye makeup, spooky eye, and red and bright red lipstick. And also I've made a huge emphasis on making sure that I've got a skincare regime. And I didn't know, didn't used to have a skincare regime. I never did anything with my skin. And I'm not paid or sponsored to show you any of this. This is just me giving you some advice because the chemotherapy can actually dry your skin out and I just want to be ahead of the game before it actually happens. So every single night I put some moisturiser all over my body and I use this stuff, this Cera V. It's actually quite good but the only problem with it is it will actually just stay on top of your skin which I'm not actually too bothered about because I feel as though it's locking that moisture into my skin. So I'll use that all over my body <clears throat> and then I'll use like an eye makeup remover to get rid of my, my eye makeup and then I'll go into, so I bought this brand when I was in um, London Drugs. I was chatting with a lady and I told her that I was going through chemo and she was saying that this brand is a really good brand. So this is their cleanser. So I will use the cleanser to wash my face and then I use this hydrating water hydrating water on the same brand and um, now i'm not quite sure if these hydrating waters are supposed to replace toners let me know in the comments down below i'm new to this i have no idea but anyway i did get another toner and i got it from the body shop and that is like a vitamin e product and i thought that'd be great because it's really hydrating for your skin so i'm just trying to put all that moisture back into my skin and also I got the, the Night Nourishing Cream from Body Shop as well, of the same brand, that Vitamin E. And my face is just glowing, like, I'm, my face has never looked so good, if I'm honest. And I feel like I'm treating myself, it's all part of self-care. So I'm trying to like look after myself. And also I don't put any makeup on my face, I just use a bronzer. People have um, recommended using a bronzer just to like highlight your cheeks and, and just your area, you know, certain areas of your face because you're going to kind of look a bit pale with no hair, I guess. But anyway, let's see how it goes. So I'm hoping to film inside of the hairdressers. I know they play music, so I'm going to be a diva and play the cancer card and ask whether they could turn the music off so I can film everything for you guys. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. I'm, I'm going into it like all positive and I'm going into it like I didn't want to shave it myself or get my husband to shave it. I just feel a bit, I don't know, it just feels a little bit um, undignified in a way. So I just kind of just want to go to my hairdressers and just treat it like a hairdresser's appointment and I'm in control. It isn't in control. Like me and the chemo are sorting this out at the end of the day. We're working together, even though it's uh, making my hair fall out, which I'm not quite happy about. And it's only the hair on my head, but I think it's the hair on my underarm and my head. 
obviously the eyebrows haven't gone and like nothing else has gone like the hair on my legs hasn't gone and like other places and I think you know what I mean um I bought myself a Guns N' Roses t-shirt because I felt I wanted to look all rock chick today I don't know I don't know where my mind goes it's so weird it's all about making yourself happy um, I want to make myself happy and not depressed about all of this because there's no point in being depressed. You might as well embrace everything that's happening to you and be in control of it. I don't know, I just can't explain it. I think that's the way I'm dealing with it. The way I'm dealing with it is sharing my experience with you guys and I hope it's helping. I'm hoping it's helping somebody out there, like my experience um, and how I'm choosing to deal with it. Um, don't get me wrong, I do have my sad days, like yesterday I was like really down, um, but the good days outweigh the bad days and that's how it should always be and you've got to find something um, to be grateful for every day and something to be happy about, like it's funny like I used to get so annoyed and stressed out about just the simplest of things and like now I just don't even worry about things, like whatever um yeah so let's go to the hairdressers well here we are outside of the hair salon and i'm waiting to go in i have a lot of anxiety about this and i don't understand why i've made my piece with my hair it's dead and it's falling out and i don't understand why i am so upset about it i didn't even have this much trauma you know taking my lump out of my breast so like why am i so bothered about my hair i mean it's dead it's falling out, I, I'm scared to touch it, and I just don't understand why I'm so upset. There we go. Just look at it. Yeah. I've been scared to do this. I have my second round on Friday and I just don't think it's gonna last. Mm. When was your last? Two weeks? Um, two yeah, weeks? so it's um, six treatments yeah. every three weeks. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do the top now. Look at that. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't look too bad either. <laughs> We've gone through every style almost. Oh man. It's just not healthy. Can you feel it? It's just, it's dead. Yeah, it's not having a fun time. Get to 
see what's really under here. <laughs> So there you have it, this is the new me I guess, I'm going to try not to cry again, I don't want to cry. Don't think it looks too bad, does it? So thank you for joining me, um, I hope this helps somebody along the way, um, I just didn't want to see my hair falling out in clumps if I'm honest, um, just can't deal with that, I just don't want to deal with that. This is um, the way that I'm taking this path, um, so yeah. I don't think it's don't think it's too bad. So thank you guys for joining me today. Bye.